So we're gonna compare these two banjos that we just finished. They're both up on the site for sale. This one is a 12 inch roll brass and this one is an 11 inch Dobson. So we'll get a very clear picture of what a 12 inch and an 11 inch sound like and their tonal differences. I'm gonna start off by playing this 12 inch roll brass cherry banjo with a man in the moon inlay. Here we go. Time for the gap. So here is an 11 inch Walnut Dobson with a 3D star on the headstock. Super clear and poppy. Well, I like both these banjos. I like the bass end of a 12 inch and how smooth it sounds, but I really like how balanced an 11 inch banjo sounds, especially with this Dobson tone ring. Um, it has a really great mid range. Um, the third string, it's hard to think of that as being a bassy string, but it's got a lot of punch to the third string. It's great for melodies and popping through in a jam. Um, also, there's the feel of it. You know, I'm a big guy, so a big 12 inch pot doesn't bother me. But some people like how balanced 11 inch feels on them when they're playing it. It's not as big. So it really depends to you. And, and if certainly both these banjos would sound different with skinheads too. You can't really go wrong with an 11 inch skinhead. Um, but yeah, both great banjos. What do you think? Which one's your favorite? So let's do this comparison one more time. I'm going to play Cumberland Gap, but I'm going to be in a uh, detuning this time. I'm going to tune it to a different tuning. There's so many ways to play this tuning, and I usually just follow the fiddler, but I don't have a fiddler here right now. So I'm just going to play it in my favorite tuning to play it in, this uh, little detuning. All right, so this is the 12-inch cherry with the uh, rolled brass and this inlay. And again, it's up on the site, uh, ozarkbanjo.com, if you're interested in it. Here's the 11 inch Walnut Dobson in that same detuning, playing Cumberland Gap.
Well, there you have it. Do you like the 11 inch or do you like the 12 inch? Let me know. Also, um, that was Cumberland Gap. I teach that on my lesson page and a whole bunch of different tunings because you never know what you're going to get into when you play Cumberland Gap with a fiddler. And uh, another update is I'll have the tune Half Past Four on the site this week. So a new lesson going up and we're scheduling a Facebook Live Q&A. So, hey, that's it. Have a good week.